After checking that the R in base is greater than 10 times of R2, we proceed to determine the voltage value of VB, the base voltage of the transistor in step 2. Using voltage divider rule over R1 and R2, we find that VB is actually equal to the voltage across resistor R2. Hence, VB is equal to R2 over the sum of R1 and R2 multiplied with the voltage supply VCC. Substituting the values of R1, R2 and VCC, we get 2.07 volts for VB. After determining VB, we then proceed to determine the value of VE, the emitter voltage of the transistor in step 3. Observe that to determine VE, VE is the difference between VB and VBE. VBE is the voltage difference between point B and point E, which is VB minus VE. Rearranging this equation in terms of VE will then give VE equal to VB minus VBE to give a value of 1.37 volts. Step 4 is to determine the emitter current IE. IE can be derived using Ohm's law by dividing the emitter voltage VE with the resistance of RE to give a value of 1.25 mA. Moving on to step 5, we determine the value of the collector current IC. IC is equal to IE since the base current IB is assumed to be negligible. Hence, IC is equal to 1.25 mA.